Hi, friends, and a most pleasant good afternoon to you. Welcome to a Saturday doubleheader here on Delaware Hockey Night, brought to you by 412 Communications. We start things off with the Delaware women's team as the Blue Hens take on the Montclair State University Red Hawks. James Witherite flying solo with you this afternoon. Mark McClure helping us out behind the scenes. Bob Thomas off for the afternoon. As he attends to the thing that we've left behind the last week and a half yard work, but we've got a clear Monday over here. So we'll focus on that then right now. The focus is on hockey. But before we get to that, the focus will be on some absolutely gallant women in this Delaware hockey community. As today, the Blue Hens team up with the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition to raise awareness and work toward a cure for cancer, both here in Delaware and worldwide. So we'll take you inside Fred Rust Arena for this afternoon's pregame festivities. Once again, fans, welcome to Fred Rust Arena. For this afternoon's women's Division II ACHA game between the visiting Montclair State University Redhawks and your University of Delaware Blue Hens. Before we turn to this afternoon's on ice competition, the Red Hawks and Blue Hens together would like to honor the great work done by the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition, who empowers communities by raising awareness of breast health issues through survivorship support services, outreach, and education in order to facilitate the early detection and treatment of breast cancer. The coalition encourages everyone to share and advocate breast health awareness. The DBCC helps those with low incomes and those with little or no insurance to receive free or reduced cost care. Before we get to this afternoon's game, a few of our Blue Hens players would like to honor survivors from their respective families. Delaware goalie Morgan Cullen will be honoring her mom, Sharon, who has been cancer-free now for four years. I, I think I can speak for all of us, not just the Cullen family, but we're lucky to have you here every day, Sharon. Watch out, Todd, it's slippery. From opposite sides of the red line, Delaware's Courtney Marino and Montclair State's Cameron Marino <laughs> honor their mother, Sherry, who has been cancer-free for over seven years. The Marino sisters right? we are so grateful to have you today and every day. Delaware forward slash defender Jessica Pataniello will honor her mom, Laura Pataniello, who has been cancer-free for 19 years. <laughs> Jess says, my mom is the strongest woman I know. I love you. We honor these women and many others through our world for their courage, 
fighting cancer and the DBCC continues to raise the fight on behalf of many others here in the first state. Blue Hens Hockey proud to partner with the DBCC as every day we work closer to a cure for breast cancer. And now we bring to you our starting lineups. For the Montclair State University Redhawks, starting in goal, number 30, Kaylee McFadden. At left wing, number 22, Abby Mool. At right wing, number 2, Amber Astalos. At center, number 16, Sabrina Robinson. On defense, number 26, Emily Struble. And number eight, Cameron Marino. And now the starting lineup for your University of Delaware Blue Hands. Starting in goal, a senior wearing number 23, Morgan Cullen. On defense, a senior, number 16, Priya Albert. And number nine, a freshman, Emma Chaffee. Starting at right wing, a sophomore, number 29, Jessica Cataniello. At center, a sophomore, number 24, Sam Schultz. And starting at left wing, a senior, number 11, Courtney Marino. Your Delaware Blue Hens are coached by Ken Deming, Al Gallo, and Katie Smith. The on-ice official for this afternoon's game is Walter Lawrence. Fans, at this time, we direct your attention to the American flag located above center ice as we honor the United States of America and those who defend it with our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner get wave for the land of the Please direct your attention directly below the American flag at center ice for a pregame ceremonial puck drop. 
We ask the captains from both teams to come forward. In a holding pattern as the ceremonial puck drop is concerned. Either the rug was rolled back prematurely or must have been the case or no one to, no one to conduct it. So with that being said and that being observed, Failing the ceremonial puck drop, it is time to play the game. So formalities and festivities aside, pitter patter, let's get at her. Delaware clad in their commemorative pink and blue sweaters as opposed to their standard white kits. Moving left to right, Montclair State heading from right to left in their black and red kits. First period of Delaware Hockey Night brought to you by First State Ice Hockey. Building better youth hockey players in the first state under the philosophy of one state, one goal. Took absolutely no time for Sam Schultz to record the first shot of the game. Second shot just as quickly covered up by Kaylee McFadden. And that brings us to a stoppage. Two quick shots from Delaware. A corralled by Marino left to Chaffee at the right point. Cross ice feed thrown in by Albert, blocked down in traffic, backhanded by Cameron Marino, but not out. Priya Albert holding the left point, rolls the puck in behind the cage once again. It skitters nearly to a halt where Sabrina Robinson is unable to backhand it free for Montclair up the near wall. Intercepted there by Schultz, set up to Albert, stepping up to the top of the slot, and that's in! Priya Albert with a bobbling shot from high in the zone took all of 45 seconds to put the Blue Hens on the board. So Priya Albert on the third shot of the game for Delaware. Putting them right on the board. We'll get the assists from the off-ice officials. As reported by Walter Lawrence here shortly. Face-off will come just above. the Delaware blue line as this goal information is forthcoming. Point held by Bonfilio. Cross ice feed now in the slot to Julian Nima. Her shot came right back to her follow-up chance by Boosie on the doorstep was wide. This puck is cleared out to red, recovered by Olivia Hootie for Delaware across to Nima, mishandled the puck at center, but she's got ample time and space to walk it right back into the Montclair zone. Nima tried to put one on a tee for Emily Gallagher, crashing the net, but the puck sails to the far wall. Stepped up, thrown in by Crittenden. That puck directed away by goaltender Kaylee McFadden to the far corner of the Montclair zone. Gallagher from just above the goal line near side. 
Through the puck, through the top of the blue paint, but over to the far wall, it ends up held by Crittenden there. Back high to McFadden. Now Rosenthal trying to split defenders. Backhand chance for McFadden on the doorstep. Covered up and held onto by Kaylee McFadden for a break in the action. A Delaware goal scored by number 16, Priya Alberts. Assist information forthcoming. Time of the goal, 45 seconds in the first period. Albert at 45 seconds. Official scoring information beyond that to come. This will be an icing against Montclair State. Faceoff comes back into Red Hawks territory. Liebman offering support to third line center Morgan Thrush. But the Hens, namely Chaffee, press back to their own blue line. Cameron Marino steals the puck, walks it in, but she's surrounded by Hens from all angles. Thrown into a congested slot. There's the first shot of the game for Montclair. It came from Emily Struble from 30 feet away. Tipped aside by Cullen through traffic. And the Blue Hens are guilty of an icing. Shot so far 6-1 in Delaware's favor. Will be pinned back in their zone for the following faceoff. Walter Lawrence working this game solo. Which kudos to him for that. And a quick shot off the draw saved by Cullen. Faceoff comes back to the left circle from Delaware's perspective. Puck rolls up to the point held in there. No sleeve numbers on the Montclair sweaters, so. Player identification will be a little bit late their way, and the, the Delaware sweaters, we'll just be frank about it, incredibly hard to read. Might as well not have sleeve numbers. They're so buried in that low contrast area at the top of the, at the, top of the sleeve. So catch as catch can as far as player ID goes, but we'll give you the captions for the moving pictures courtesy Mark McClure as best we can. Albert trying to muscle her way through traffic. Lost the puck in the mid-slot. Lumbering ahead for Montclair was Struble, but play is offside. As far as assists on the Albert goal are concerned, your guess is as good as mine at this point. 2 on 0 developed by Delaware. Marino tried to backhand one on the doorstep past McFadden, but failed in that endeavor. She does not get the rebound in. She tried to connect after a Patani yellow net front chance. But Kaylee McFadden sprawls to make the save. Like Marino caught a stick or something. She's going to head back to the bench. Fifteen forty-one to go in this first period. Delaware with a one-nil lead. They've just peppered Kaylee McFadden with vulcanized rubber here in these first four and a third minutes. Shots nine-two in Delaware's favor and I think that was supposed to be a pass but it ends up going in for goal number two. And it's going to be credited to Corey Busey. So 
so boom, just like that, two Delaware goals. We are not even five minutes into this contest. A Delaware goal scored by number 33, Corey Busey. Assisted by number 12, Julia Nima. Time of the goal, four minutes, 29 seconds. In the first period, Busey from Nima at 4.29. So our connection with the off-ice officials has been restored. And a Kaylee McFadden save gives us a pause in action. Five minutes and 20 seconds in. Face-off will be to the left of McFadden. Coming in to take it. Pittsburgher, Emily Gallagher. Crittenden holds the zone. Puck thrown in from long range, sticked away by McFadden to the far side. Pure Delaware domination so far, that their 12th shot. Make it 13 as Gallagher takes aim from right down the pipe. Stick saved by McFadden, turns it to the far corner. Held in by Bonfilio. Thrown close, missed the far post. Race for the puck, Cassie McFadden tries to put one right in the net front area but it was blocked away. Abigail Crittenden works low in the zone, plays the puck behind the cage, but beyond the reach of her fellow blue hen, and this comes back in icing. Assists on the Priya Albert goal at 45 seconds in the first period are credited to number 29, Jessica Pataniello. And number nine, Emma Chaffee. So the summary of the first Delaware goal. Albert from Pataniello and Chaffee at 45 seconds. Six and a half have gone by in this opening period of play. Delaware. Taking command early up 2-0. Emma Liebman's shot crossing through the high slot was kicked aside by McFadden. Thrush flips it back behind her to Bonfilio. Thrush working the right circle. Walks it in close. Tried to wrist it in from 10 feet away but cleared the crossbar. Breakout attempt foiled by Thrush. High was Liebman across to Bonfilio, stepping up to the top of the left circle. Her shot from 35 feet was blocked high by Struble. In comes Liebman from the right corner, trying to go five hole on McFadden in the follow up chance. It was frozen for a stoppage, just the same. 15 Delaware shots already. Fresh legs on for both sides, although Montclair's complement of substitutes only numbers three. Pataniello mishandles the puck net front after Albert fed it to her from the point. It comes back to Chaffee near side. Up the boards again, Pataniello backhander. It was wide but corralled by McFadden for the stoppage. Face-off comes at the near dot. Chaffee across to Albert, who turns and backhands it to the far corner, waiting there is Cassie McFadden. 
So we've got Cassie McFadden on the Blue Hen side, Kaylee McFadden guarding the net on the Montclair side. So far, Kaylee has stopped 13 of 15 shots sent her way. Make it 14 of 16 after the last one. And we're not even nine minutes into the contest. Puck stolen at the far boards, lumbered forward by Montclair State. Amente's progress was stunted at center by Pataniello, who heads off for a change. Dump and chase, not quite a successful one for Delaware. As Struble maintains possession near side, she's bodied off the puck by Chaffee. Chaffee angled to the corner by Gianna Molinaro. With some help from Cameron Marino, rather. Marino in the white helmet. Crosses to the far boards. Tries to chip the puck along the dashers, but Albert keeps the zone airtight at the left point. Amente reaching for the puck deep in her own zone. Gave it away to Dubin. Who tried to set up Chaffee center point, but lost the zone in doing so. Pens tag up as we come to the midpoint of the first period. Delaware with a 2-0 lead over the Red Hawks. In comes Julia Nima. Trying to put one on a tee for Boosie, looking for her second of the game. But Boosie couldn't get stick on puck in the low slot. Boosie working the near corner. Plays it below the goal. Fans on the give and go attempt. Chaffee protects. Lazy shot thrown in from 35 feet, turned away by Kaylee McFadden. To Albert it goes, center, or left point rather, launched in from 35 feet away and blocked aside by McFadden again. So McFadden's workload incredible so far, 18 shots in just the first 10 minutes. Hens are on pace for 108. Chaffee from center point, there's 19. Right into McFadden's breadbasket. Nima couldn't finish on the welcome mat. Comes to Chaffee again. There's shot number 20. Sticked up into the glove of Kaylee McFadden. And she holds on for a pause and play. Delaware Hockey Night brought to you by our good friends at 412 Communications. Well, I guess good friends is a bit of an understatement. They present Delaware Hockey Night and they provide small businesses with digital media solutions ranging from multimedia production to writing and editing services, web and graphic design, social media consultation, and so much more. They know a thing or two about commas. They know a thing or two about all things digital media, and they're here to help you build bridges with the people you serve. 412 Communications, proud, proud partners of Delaware Hockey Night. Long shot from Bonfilio. Turned to the near corner. Held in by Hootie. Shot was blocked. High in the zone by Mool. Gallagher feeds one net front. Stepping up mid-slot. Bonfilio denied by McFadden. Another long-range chance. This came from Hootie, sticked away by McFadden below the net. That her 21st save and 23 shots so far. The pace will markedly pick up in a couple hours when the men's Division I team takes on Navy after beating the midshipmen 3-1. Yesterday, and there's Sophia Rosenthal. Putting one pass to make it a 3-0 hockey game. Rosenthal connects off the rebound. And it is now 3-0 Delaware. Liebman had the initial shot. And Rosenthal on the net front area. 
banged home the rebound to make it 3 0. Timeout, Montclair State. A Delaware goal scored by number 54, Sophia Rosenthal. Assisted by number eight, Emma Liebman. And number six, Olivia Hoody. Time of the goal, 11 minutes, 45 seconds in the first period. Rosenthal from Liebman and Hoody at 11.45. So Montclair State taking their time out very early in this contest, but my, have they had their work cut out for them early here. 24 shots turned the direction of Kaylee McFadden, and you know what, she's, she's done her part, turning aside 21 of them, but the breakdowns have been right in front of the blue paint more than, more than elsewhere. Delaware outmanning that territory incredibly handily, and that's, that's been the difference maker thus far. As the game progresses, the short-staffed Red Hawks will start to feel the fatigue that will be the difference maker in the second and third periods, but man, they've just, while their legs should still be fresh, all nine of them, been outplayed pretty much in every way, shape, and form possible. Play resuming with a center ice draw as it does after a goal. Cassie McFadden trailed in by Thrush, could not maintain the momentum. Bonfilio holds the left point. Working below the goal. Didn't see who that was on the setup, but it was Cassie McFadden making it four for Delaware. Pens just keep pouring it on. Four nothing Delaware. My goodness gracious. The helper came from Christina Green. Junior making her first seasonal appearance with Delaware. A Delaware goal scored by number 25. A Delaware goal scored by number 25, Cassie McFadden. Assisted by number two, Christina Green. Time of the goal, 12 minutes, 11 seconds in the first period. McFadden from Green at 12-11. And here came McFadden again. Drop pass this time to Morgan Thrush, and there's one for the thumb for Delaware, wasting no time at all. They just keep pouring it on. Two goals in 25 seconds, and it's now 5-0 Blue Hens. McFadden with the assist on that one, setting up Morgan Thrush with the drop pass at the top of the right circle. And she goes where Mama hid the cookies to make it 5-0. A Delaware goal scored by number 22, Morgan Thrush. Assisted by number 25, Cassie McFadden. 
Time of the goal, 12 minutes, 36 seconds in the first period. Thrush from McFadden at 12.36. Icing against Montclair State leaves them back in their zone with 7.02 to go in the first period. Sam Schultz in for the draw. Across from Cameron Marino. We know Courtney. We knew Cameron before she transferred to Montclair State. The Chaffee shot was deflected wide at the top of the slot. Pataniello steps up, throws the puck into a sea of black and red sweaters. Turning net front for a chance was Hootie. This covered up by McFadden for a pause in play. Delaware will get some fresh legs on at this stoppage. Face-off will come to the right of McFadden. Puck tied up over the dot. Maintained by Delaware, namely Julia Nima. Thrown off the corner boards far side. Chased down by Boosie. Thrown into the slot. Lumbering forward is Struble, but not out. Just didn't have the acceleration to bulldoze her way out of Montclair territory. Nima's backhander was off its intended target. Montclair recover, no they don't. As Hootie maintains the zone and fires the 29th Delaware shot into McFadden's pads. Six minutes to go in this first period and this will be an icing against Montclair State. Planning for retirement doesn't just happen overnight. It takes quite a bit of preparation, and Limestone Pension Associates have been doing just that for over 35 years. Limestone crafts and administers qualified pension plans for companies based in Delaware and the region. And as mentioned, they've done so for well over a generation and a half. Pay them a visit at limestonepension.org to learn more about what they can do for you. Limestone Pension Associates, proud partners of Delaware Hockey Night. Nima, shot, no, off the post. Follow-up chance ends up in McFadden's glove. And we've got a pause in play. Five and a half minutes to go in this extremely one-sided first period, and I think calling it that is frankly an understatement. Puck cleared by Montclair off the draw. You've got to hand it to Walter Lawrence working this game solo and doing a fine job of it. 31st Delaware shot came off the stick of one McFadden and into the pads of another. Rebound contested in the corner, left to Albert at the point. Wobbly long range shot trickles to the near side where Bonfilio picks it up. Rather to Rosenthal than Gallagher who mishandled it working the net front area. McFadden steps up to the half wall, works the puck down low again. Shot from the corner, stopped by the other McFadden, denying Gallagher the opportunity for a sixth for Delaware. There's Gallagher again looking for the extra point. Twas not to be with four and a half minutes to go. His shot 33 ends up under Kaylee McFadden's left-handed glove. Fresh legs from both sides. Taking their places for this attacking zone face-off for Delaware. 33 Delaware shots so far. McFadden's been really doing just about everything right that she can. She just doesn't have that support net front. 
puck swatted away from Liebman. Held in by Bonfilio. Rister from 35. Caught for a break in play by McFadden once again with 4.07 to go in this first period. So much of what's happened has been in the area that Bob Thomas refers to as the house. Between the posts and the dots up to the tops of the circles. Montclair, despite dropping four low on most occasions, have not been able to maintain control of that territory in front of their own net. And that's where all the goals have come from for Delaware. Bonfilio shot. Denied by McFadden, who sprawled to make the save. Pops back up on her feet. Meanwhile, Thrush is pressed high. Thrush stick handles, generates plenty of space. Tried to snipe one to the top corner, but missed high and wide. Crittenden to Thrush again. Liebman cutting through the slot. Was able to get stick on puck, but not maintain control. Liebman chases the puck to the far half wall, backhands it in closer. Recovered by Green. Couldn't jam one in on the doorstep. It was sticked away. Crittenden slapper. Paddled wide by McFadden. This thrown net front. Green unable to finish. Puck bounced over her stick at the edge of the crease. Now she's driven to the near corner by Marino. They battle for the puck. Walked in by Green, but into traffic, she loses control. Crittenden holds the point off a failed Montclair clearing attempt. Flip to her defensive partner, Mia Bonfilio. Bonfilio turns at the left dot, her shot from there. Popped up high off the glove of Kaylee McFadden. Good for save number 32. In a helter-skelter first period, from the perspective of her office, Green posts up right at the top of the crease, but the puck never made it to her from the corner. Bonfilio dipsy doodles through traffic, tried to shoot from right between the circles, but she was stick checked by Cameron Marino off her target. Down to the final two of the first period, net for centering pass to Pataniello, and she punches it past off her backhand to make it 6 0. Just Pataniello's backhand. Gives the Hens a touchdown. We are now Delaware goal, scored by number 29, Jessica Petaniello. Assisted by number 55, Abigail Crittenden. Time of the goal, 18 minutes, 11 seconds in the first period. Petaniello from Crittenden at 18-11. 75 seconds to go in the period. Hard Sam Schultz wrister tipped aside. Brought in by Dubin now. Left to Pataniello at the dot. She couldn't connect from there. One minute remaining in the period. In minute resta dans la période. Backdoor feed intended but broken up amply. By the Red Hawks decor. In comes Schultz again working up the right wing boards. The disruption was caused by Abby Mull. Cycled to Albert. Back to the corner it comes. Centering feed. Bounced off the stick of Patani Yellow, but not cleared by Struble. Held by Albert at the left point. Another foiled Montclair clearing attempt as Delaware has spent pretty much this entire first period in the attacking zone. 
the shots, and we'll double check this, standing 40 to three in favor of Delaware as the first period comes to its conclusion. Through 20 minutes, the score, Montclair State University, Red Hawks zero, Delaware Blue Hens six. We'll take a pause on Delaware Hockey Night. It's all brought to you by 412 Communications.
20 minutes in the books. And the Delaware Blue Hens, Ladies Division II team, out to a commanding 6-0 lead over the Montclair State University Red Hawks. Delaware Hockey Night brought to you by Delaware Trash Can Cleaning. Limestone Pension Associates. Colonial Motors. First State Ice Hockey. And 412 Communications, the new gold standard in digital media solutions for small businesses. Building bridges between brands and the people they serve. That first period, an absolute tour de force for the Delaware Blue Hens. 40 shots on Kaylee McFadden, who, despite what we're looking at in terms of a 6-0 Delaware advantage, may very well end up one of the three stars of the game by virtue of the hard work she's done in net. Well-rounded score sheet in that first period. Albert, Busey, Rosenthal, McFadden, Thrush, and Pataniello all getting on the board for the Delaware side. They peppered Kaylee McFadden with, would you believe this, 40 shots on goal. Yeah, you're not seeing, that's, you're not seeing that wrong, folks. 40 shots on goal. Effectively target practice for Delaware on McFadden, who has done an admirable job, an admirable job backstopping the short staff Red Hawks side. Only eight skaters. The long change in effect for this second period. As Montclair will go left to right. And there are away black sweaters, Delaware, and they're blue and pink. And those hard to read numbers on the back will go right to left. Second period presented by the Hooper family. Proud supporters of Delaware Hockey Night and supporters of Blue Hens Hockey all around. Their sons, Larry and Joey. Second line center and rookie goalie, respectively, on the Division II men's team. Hens gained the Montclair blue line. It was Cassie McFadden who stick handled her way in zone lost. Albert recovers in neutral territory. Walked back in now, cross to Courtney Marino. Lots of space, that shot deflected off the tips of the fingers of Kaylee McFadden to the far corner. Struble posts down low for Montclair alongside Lexi Martinez. Time and space galore behind the cage. Brought out now by Marino. Centering feed high to Julia Nima, double teamed right between the hash marks, 25 feet away from the Montclair net. Shot in from Chaffee was bobbled by McFadden. Took a while to track down the rebound, but the Hawks were able to clear. Dubin crashed the net, couldn't find the shot. Bonfilio saw the puck, deflected off her intended target and into the netting out.
Faceoff was to the right of McFadden, shot from the top of the circle, was that Bonfilio. Stopped by McFadden again. Hoodie, center point. Ricochets the puck off the near boards, now to Boosie, working behind the cage. Unable to run the gauntlet, she leaves the puck behind. Dubin receives it, flips it back to Nima. To Dubin, once again. Now in the control of Bonfilia. Good puck movement on the left half of the zone. Pie to Kendall Dubin, whom we've heard from surprisingly little today. Until now, that is. She rifles one in from 35 feet. Kendall Dubin with the convert. Makes it 7 nothing Delaware. A top corner snipe. And it's now 7-0. It looked like Dubin from here, but we're, we're told it's going to Bonfilio. Correction on that, it is going to go to Kendall Dubin because, well, that's what we had from both sides of the ice here in the press box and the official scorer. Despite Bonfilio being initially credited with the goal, consensus rules that it will go to Dubin. A Delaware goal scored by number 21, Kendall Dubin. Assisted by number 33, Corey Busey. Time of the goal, two minutes, 23 seconds in the second period. Dubin from Busey at 2.23. Drop pass to Liebman from Green, a lazy one at that. Shot blocked before it got to the cage. Bonfilio holds the left point to Liebman stepping up. Shot into the skates of Struble. And out come the Hawks and a two on two. Cameron Marino long shot. Stopped pretty easily by Morgan Collin. Had time to watch that one all the way in. Amente's follow-up chance never makes it to the cage. Marino again. Collins slams the door on her. Fresh legs coming on for both sides. Wholesale change on the Delaware half of the red line, and Montclair will do what they can with who they have. Hens break free, 2 on 0. Here's Chaffee. Had the shot lane all to herself, but she crosses to the far corner. In below to Rosenthal, back to Chaffee it comes. Rosenthal posts up directly behind the net. Swarming that front is McFadden, surrounded by Red Hawks. Gallagher, center point, ricochets it off the far boards. In the corner it's played again. Sent up high by Rosenthal. McFadden angled off the puck mid-slot by Robinson. Oh. 
Puck not cleared out by Struble, but she was able to take some heat out of a hot Montclair kitchen. In now. Come the hens again. Was it Rosenthal up the far side? Yes, it was with the centering pass to McFadden that was ultimately not to be. Montclair getting a free pass with the Delaware delayed offside and this shot from Cameron Marino will be ruled null and void as Abby Mool was a good few steps offside. Six minutes gone here in the second. Face off directly in front of the Montclair bench. Controlled by Delaware, Courtney Marino on a breakaway. Shot, score! Courtney Marino makes it look easy as one, two, three, and gives Delaware their eighth of the day. Courtney all the way on that one. Couple stick handles in front of the net and she roofs it to put her hands up eight, nothing. A Delaware goal scored by number 11, Courtney Marino. Time of the unassisted goal, six minutes, seven seconds in the second period. Marino unassisted at 6.07. And back go the Delaware defensive core to just inside their blue line to get the momentum going in their desired direction once again. Headman pass to Nima broken up, up the far boards. Recovered, walked in by Green, long shot. Rings off the end wall. Chased down by Nima in the near corner. We'll see her big brother Jake a little bit later on today as the men's division one team takes on Navy. That yet to come. Nima ricochets the puck off the back wall. It comes back to her near side. She walks the goal line, puts one on a tee for Bonfilio. That shot blocked from 20 feet away. Nima near half boards, rolls it to the corner where Boosie is hassled by Cameron Marino. Boosie to the far point waiting there is Abigail Crittenden. Back to Boosie patrolling the right side of the zone. Tried to set one up for Bataniello in the low slot. That pass blocked away. Crittenden maintains. Boosie, another centering pass foiled. We are eight minutes through the second period. This an eight nothing game. Long range shot from Bonfilio. Again, blocked through the slot, never made it to McFadden's office. Kaylee McFadden getting a little bit more support so far in the second period. Delaware's mustered six shots on goal in this middle frame. Hangsteffer slowed up mightily, trying to clear her zone by Struble. Left back from Nima, intended for Crittenden, but cleared by Shayla Gomez. Crittenden back behind her own cage. Starts the breakout, takes a pair of Red Hawk players out of the play by drawing them behind the goal. Here's Nima, lazy shot, covered by McFadden for a pause in play with 11 minutes to go in this second period. And Delaware with a handy 8-0 lead.
faceoff will come to Kaylee McFadden's left. Not just in terms of the number of skaters that both teams have available to them, but the athleticism of the Delaware players is certainly notable by comparison. That being said, we really haven't seen them need to exert all that much so far this game. They've been able to coast along pretty well, and Here's another opportunity for them as we see Liebman accelerate on a breakaway and she scores! The New Yorker, Emma Liebman, makes it 9 nothing, Generating a breakaway from the blue line in and she goes top shelf just the same. Albert with the setup on that breakaway. And we'll see if our new score graphics will be able to handle double digits here, probably in a few minutes. A Delaware goal scored by number eight, Emma Liebman. Assisted by number 16, Priya Albert. Time of the goal, 9 minutes 30 seconds in the second period. Liebman from Albert at 9.30. Yeah. Bonfilio kept high in the zone by Robinson. Leaves the puck to Hootie in the corner. Now work to Liebman below the cage. Liebman lost control of the puck. It was swatted out of her reach by Martinez. Held in by Kelly for Delaware. Mackenzie Kelly just dipsy doodles her way through the slot. Had a shot opportunity, thought better of it. Back to Hootie it comes, right point. To the corner. Back to Hootie, top of the circle. McFadden working the corner. Below the cage to Green. Ricocheted off the near boards to Mia Bonfilio. The one who was net front was Mackenzie Kelly. She comes off for a change, tumbling over the wall and in. In her place is Hangstuffer. Cameron Marino pinched off at center by Rosenthal trying to carry the puck from end to end for Montclair. Bonfilio coasts back into the Red Hawk zone. Centering feed high, bounced off the stick of Rosenthal but lay stationary just inside the line. Zone was never lost by these Delaware Blue Hens. With 8.15 to go in the second period. Things have slowed almost to a halt. Puck skitters to the far wall. Cameron Marino does clear this time, drawing Crittenden just over the Montclair blue line. So the Blue Hens will have to regroup, and they're forced deep into their end to do so, where Bonfilio stops behind her own goal to set up a, a more deliberate attack this time round. The Rosenthal entry is called offside.
neutral zone draw sent back to the Delaware blue line where it was played on by Crittenden now advanced up the far boards by Julia Nima. Overskated by Same, corralled by Cameron Marino for Montclair and up she comes accelerating through an opening at the left wing wall to gain the Delaware. She's angled to the corner by Crittenden, tried to get a desperation shot toward Cullen, but it was sent sky high. Dubin recovers. Liebman up the left wing boards, fed the puck by Courtney Marino, generates a breakaway, drops it back to Marino at the dot. Had the scoring opportunity all to herself with a 9-0 lead. She opts for Valor rather than Ego. Marino brings it back to the left corner. Thrown off the near boards, Dubin steps up, lowers her shoulder to maintain position for the puck. We've got a Red Hawk down at the half boards. Now she lumbers back up, that being Struble. Down she goes again, just got yard sailed, but I think that was self-inflicted. Five twenty-six to go in the period and Dubin's going to go off. I don't know. That looked an awful lot like a collision from here. But it will for the first time for Delaware. Send them to the Delaware trash can cleaning penalty kill. Particulars to come. Delaware penalty assessed to number 21. Kendall Dubin, two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 14 minutes, 34 seconds in the second period. Dubin, two for roughing at 14.34. Despite being a skater down, Delaware reestablishes attacking zone position. Shrek scrapping for the puck right in front of us. She's at the center of a two-a-side battle for it. Knocked loose by Robinson. Recovered and wristed in up the far boards by Boosie. Hens get some fresh penalty killers on. Marino, the recipient of the advance pass up the near wall by Martinez, comes back to Lexi Martinez, flipped in from the near half boards behind the Delaware net, but carried right back the other way. Sam Schultz turns at her own blue line and wrists the puck the rest of the way from there. 9-0 the Delaware to lead. Montclair has only mustered two shots in the second period to Delaware's eight. The pace has slowed markedly. What you heard, wherever you might be, was Mark McClure tapping the glass. It's okay. Gives the room some vitality. Martinez backhands the puck across the neutral zone, but right into the hands of Liebman. The penalty was successfully killed. Just over three minutes to go in this second period of play. Marino through the slot, backhanded in.
Cameron Marino puts Montclair State on the board. And with three minutes and five seconds to go officially in the second period, the shutout hopes of Morgan Cullen have been effectively dashed. So Cameron Marino, the one to put the Red Hawks on the board. 37 minutes almost into the game. Montclair State goal scored by number eight, Cameron Marino. Assisted by number 21, Lexi Martinez. Time of the goal, 16 minutes, 55 seconds in the second period. Marino from Martinez at 16.55. Dubin protects the left point as Delaware sets up to try to get this one back. Busi to the far point and Crittenden. Crittenden works at net front, swatted away from the stay-at-home Montclair defender. On came Struble. Or at least so it appeared, play halted and icing is signaled by Walter Lawrence. Face off came to the right of McFadden. Dubin working high in the zone, shoveled in close. Came back off Hangstaffer's stick. And now controlled by Pataniello, patrolling below the goal. Tabusi, thrown onto the goal mouth, one-timer Hangstaffer, not a particularly strong one, never made it to the blue paint. Cameron Marino threw traffic into a one-on-three. She's angled outside the near dot, challenged directly by Pataniello, who was able to cause enough disruption to knock the puck behind the goal. Now to the final 75 of the second period. Dubin, just above the blue line, lofts the puck in off the backboards of the Montclair end. That enables Delaware to get in a change. One minute remaining in the period. Un minute restant dans la période. Zone cleared again. This will not be an icing. Sidney Schreck plays the puck on from the outside edge of the near circle. Centered, flipped by Green. Back to Hootie at the point. Through the slot, this one bounces off the near boards. Cameron Marino able to get there, but her backhand, her out, didn't quite make it. Struble tied up by Shrek and Kelly. Just inside the Montclair blue line, Green held the zone. Green, driven into the corner by Cameron Marino, gave away the puck, final seconds of the second period, tick away. Through two periods, the score, Delaware Blue Hens nine, Montclair State Red Hawks one. We'll take a pause here on Delaware Hockey Night. More to come after this.
two periods in the books here on Delaware Hockey Night, presented by 412 Communications. The Delaware Blue Hens with a 9-1 lead over Montclair State. Third period set to go underway. And we will see in goal for Delaware, Maddie Boyle, as Morgan Cullen called it a day in the second. Hens moving left to right at the end of this game. We'll take a brief break, reset the stream, and coming up in the 445 block, it will be the Delaware Blue Hens men's Division I team taking on the United States Naval Academy after registering a 3-1 win over Same in Annapolis. Hens set up a two-on-two -two from their own blue line. Hang Steffer cutting toward the net. Puck did not make it to her. After it was advanced her direction by Courtney Marino. To Marino it goes off the backhand of Pataniello. Now down low. Hang Steffer working net front. Pataniello cycles to Marino. Back to Pataniello it comes in the near corner. Sent high in the zone, this time to Schultz. Drop pass, Pataniello not there, zone lost. Abigail Crittenden hustles back to the puck, and the Hens regroup. Marino versus Marino in a battle for the puck. Cameron Marino lofts it up the near boards beyond the reach of Struble, who taken out of the play could not maintain Montclair's attack. Cameron Marino has to wait. Now for two Red Hawks to get back on side. The hockey IQ difference is quite glaring. Sometimes you've just got to call it like you see it, unfortunately. But with two Red Hawks of four, that really put a damper on Marino's ability to maintain momentum for the Hawks. And what becomes of it? The Delaware Blue Hens set up in the attacking zone once again. Bonfilio was challenged for the puck in the corner. Struble putting pressure on in that part of the ice just the same. Puck wobbles through the slot beyond the reach of Cameron Marino. Lexi Martinez failed to clear. Bonfilio. Drop past center point. Thrown off the corner boards by Dubin. Back it comes to Kendall Dubin, working the right point. Ricocheted off the dashers again. Flipped by Thrush, back to Dubin. Working low is Bonfilio. Dubin recovering, tries to line up a shot. No, she doesn't. She flips it off the end wall, lumbering to the puck, Struble. Chips it off the firewall, but not out. Dubin heads off for a change. 200 seconds have gone by in this third period. Poor Walter Lawrence has been here primarily for decoration. Hasn't had a whole lot to do. One penalty in the first 40 minutes of the game. But without Walter, the game could not go on. <laughs> Marino shot sticked away by Boyle. Handled by Nima. From behind her own goal, played up the left side, and Mackenzie Kelly will carry it on past center. She deeks her way past the Montclair version of Marino, centering feed behind the back of Rosenthal. Rings off the near boards. Rosenthal with ample time and space resets. Leaves it to Courtney Marino at the point. Now in closer it comes. Centering feed to Rosenthal. Missed the near post. Maintained by Thrush for Delaware below the goal. Brought out the left corner. Flipped again to Rosenthal. Thrown off the boards to Shrek working the left point. Through traffic that shot just missed the far pipe. Bounced off the end boards to the near wall. 
maintained by Kelly. Marino up high, trying to dipsy doodle her way through traffic. And Delaware will get themselves a Colonial Motors power play for the first time today as the netminder heads off. And this puck is directed to the near boards off an errant Morgan Thrush shot. Struble heading off. We didn't get the signal from Walter. But Emily Struble will sit and feel shame for the next two minutes. And the Delaware Blue Hens go on the Colonial Motors power play. You too can go on the Colonial Motors power play by visiting one of their three convenient Central Delaware locations or browse their vast inventory of pre-owned cars perfect for every purpose and budget online at colonialmotorsinc.com. Waiting for the penalty time to be posted. There it is. Gallagher, Chaffee, Crittenden, Hangstuffer, and McFadden are the five on this power play, at least to start for Delaware. Montclair State penalty assessed to number 26, Emily Struble. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, three minutes, 54 seconds in the third period. Struble, two for tripping at 3.54. Your Delaware Blue Hens are on the power play. Here comes Emily Gallagher, lots of space. Four went the shot opportunity, circled behind the net, tried to put one on a tee for Kelly net front. That pass broken up, Montclair clears. Accelerating up the right dots now comes Pataniello, trailed into the zone by Chaffee. Pataniello kept outside said dots by Cameron Marino on her way in, skates the perimeter of the zone, stops at the left point. Again tried to set up Hangsteffer net front. Hangsteffer swats at the puck on its way back through the slot the other way. Directs it to the far corner, given away, and cleared. Ahead to Marino. One-on-one, -on -one, Marino lost her footing. And that will do it for the rest of the Delaware power. The, that's right, the rest of the Delaware power play. It's canceled out by a trip. At least we believe it to be a trip. Indeed, that is the case. Delaware penalty assessed to number nine, Emma Chaffee, two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, six minutes, 27 seconds in the third period. Chaffee, two for tripping at 6.27. So four aside for the next 12 seconds. Delaware with lots of open ice to their advantage. Bonfilio, drop pass to the top of the left circle. Shot in from there. Blocked down by McFadden. That the 50th Delaware shot of the game. Montclair with a one-woman advantage now for the next 83 seconds. As Struble left the door gaping open on her way back in. Puck carried through neutral ice, stolen by Dubin. She tried to rifle it deep into the Montclair end, but it came bouncing right back to her. Backhanded by Marino behind the net to the far corner, where Bonfilio chases it down. 
Boosie tied up. Driven to the corner by Cameron Marino. Maintains the puck for Delaware. Now lazily floats it off her back end to the near side where no one exists. Cameron Marino gets to it a half step quicker than Bonfilio, but cannot clear. Mia Bonfilio recovering, patrolling the top of the zone with 29 seconds left on the Chaffee penalty. Some of these Delaware players have in the nameplate area on their commemorative breast cancer awareness sweaters, the names of survivors that they're honoring or memorializing, whichever the case may be, through this game. For instance, Courtney Marino has mom written in the nameplate of hers, as we heard during pregame. Her mom, a breast cancer survivor. Likewise, Sharon Cullen, mother of netminder Morgan Cullen, whom was also recognized in advance of today's contest. Puck stripped from Hootie in the corner by Martinez, but not cleared. Nima maintains at the point. Puck out of play gives us a stoppage with 10.51 to go in regulation. Faceoff comes just above the Montclair State stripe. Julia Nima ricochets it off the far wall, forward to Hootie, who walks in, her stick lifted by Cameron Marino, takes her out of position for a chance at Delaware's 10th goal. The 26s get tied up in the near corner. Struble, slow to get up. Meanwhile, Kelly was able to keep the puck moving. Marino one-timer right point. Not the greatest of contact on that puck. Struble clears, but gives it right back to Courtney Marino. The hands tag back up. In comes Hootie along the left wing boards. Dishes one onto the doorstep, but nobody was home. Sam Schultz. Centering feed intended for Marino, never made it there. In fact, hit her in the skates. She couldn't get the shot off net front. Cross ice feed to Julia Nima. Flip behind her to Thrush. One timer, Courtney Marino in the slot. Cameron Marino puts her stick down and bats it right back high. We are past halfway in this third period. Delaware with a 9-1 lead over Montclair State. Cameron Marino was able to reach in and lift Thrush's stick, take the puck away from her momentarily. There, Cameron blocked the pass, too. She and McFadden have really carried almost all of the weight for Montclair this afternoon. And the scoring table for Delaware has been incredibly balanced. Centering feed broken up. Trying to risk the puck clear was Amber Astalos, but couldn't. Centered, now cleared. Held in by Rosenthal. Rosenthal shot. Stick down by McFadden. And Struble is going to head back to the box. A delayed penalty signaled against Montclair. 
Goalies off, extra attacker is in. Rosenthal in the near corner. Kept below the net by Marino. Leaves it to Emily Gallagher. Worked high to Pataniello. Rosenthal below the cage again to Gallagher. Centering feed. Hangsteffer fans on the puck, maintained still by Blue Hens. Rosenthal plays it behind the Montclair goal to Gallagher. Centered intended for Hangsteffer. Cameron Marino tries to disrupt that pass. And now, Marino risks the puck into the Delaware zone and that gives cause for the stoppage with possession and control both maintained. By Montclair State with 7.04 officially to go in the contest. So the Blue Hens go back to the Colonial Motors power play with a 9-1 lead. And with Struble out for hooking for the next two minutes. Montclair State penalty assessed to number 26, Emily Struble. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 12 minutes, 56 seconds in the third period. Struble, two for hooking at 12.56. Puck rolled in lazily by Boosie. Cameron Marino wrists it free. Walked in by Dubin, couldn't connect with Hangstuffer in the slot. This slammed out of harm's way. Inside the final six minutes now. 45 seconds left on the one woman advantage for Delaware. Zone not successfully held by the Hens. Trek was drawn just over the blue line to play the puck, and Delaware had to tag up as such. In comes Cameron Marino the other direction, angled to the near corner. Angled there by Dubin, a battle for the puck develops. The near half boards migrating up to the point area. Recovered by Kelly. The Struble penalty has expired. She lumbers back on. Marino lumbers back off. Chaffee leaves the puck to Marino. Cross ice feed, Nima couldn't connect as she barreled in from the left dot. Nine different goal scorers for Delaware. It's worth noting. This score sheet has been incredibly balanced. Inside four to play. Who 
Who skates the circle, leaves it to Nima at the left point. Backhanded off the end boards. Now cycled back to Courtney Marino. Cutting into Marino, splitting defenders in the slot. After missing the pass initially, she chases it down. Her momentum carries her to the half boards near side. Didn't look from here as though Marino had lost the zone, but Walter Lawrence says otherwise. So Montclair's got a free pass with three minutes to go. And Delaware up 9-1. Commanding Hens lead. Puck ends up in the far corner after an errant shot. Nima center point. Played on now to Chaffee. Cross ice feed, Nima steps up, looks for the shot, no, she flips it now to Chaffee again. Pass didn't connect, she chases the puck down to the corner, Chaffee does. Played back to Nima, working the right wing boards. In through traffic comes Pataniello. She wraps around, Thrush posting up net front. We've entered the final two minutes of the game. Schultz leaves the puck to Thrush. Generating a shot lane, crossing through the slot. No, she leaves it to the far corner. The tempo has ground nearly to a halt. There's the 52nd Delaware shot of the game and the 43rd save from McFadden. Face-off comes at the far dot, batted by Gallagher to the corner. Played around to the near side. And below the goal by the Montclair defensive core. Held in, but only just, by Hangsteffer. To Hangsteffer, bulldozing through the slot. Puck swatted out of her reach by Omente. Worked in close, Crittenden takes aim from right on the welcome mat. That puck popped up in the air by McFadden. Inside the final minute now, Gallagher dishes it back to Thrush in the corner. Centering feed, Crittenden one-timer. Well off its target from 12 feet away and she lost her footing. Gallagher slapper. Off its line from the right half boards into the far corner. Held in by Shrek at the opposite point. 23 seconds to go. Abigail Crittenden. Again with a backdoor feed, but the Red Hawks doing well to clog up the slot here in the third period. Schultz set up hang Steffer, no dice. This puck is cleared. And that, folks, will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the final score, Delaware Blue Hens nine, Montclair State Red Hawks one. That does it for us here on Delaware Hockey Night. Second half of our doubleheader coming up next. It will be the Division I men's team taking on Navy. For Mark McClure, this is James Witherite. We'll be back for the 445 rematch of Navy and Delaware. We'll come up next on Delaware Hockey Night brought to you by 412 Communications.